Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Newman. I'd like to welcome you back. Remember, we believe that when you change your health, you'll change your life. And our motto and goal for you is to add years to your life and life to your years. We've been talking about adrenal fatigue. Tonight, we're going to talk about the four stages of adrenal fatigue. I'm not going to tell you that's vastly important that you know exactly where you're at in the adrenal fatigue situation. But I will tell you that what's going to happen is this isn't going to just jump out and all of a sudden you're going to fall off a cliff with your health. Adrenal fatigue is a slow, progressive problem. What do most people notice? Well, the things you start to notice is your energy, your zest for life, your get up and go, it's not there anymore. The person who's used to working out three or four times a week, you don't have that desire anymore. Your relationship with your spouse and kids, that might be slipping because you just don't have the energy, the focus, the concentration, the patience. Your sleep isn't as good. You notice increased aches and pains. Your body doesn't function as well. You might notice some constipation or even diarrhea as your GI function changes. Weight gain is very common with this as well. So just an overall deterioration, almost like an acceleration of aging is what people experience with adrenal fatigue. Now, here's what you probably want to know. How long does it take to get well? Well, that does depend on what stage you're at. Certainly, the longer that you've had a problem with adrenal fatigue, it's going to take you more time to recover. For those of you that are in the first stage, probably a couple months if you do the right things. For those of you that have been here for a period of years, it's going to take a couple years to get well. Now, the keys are always going to be the same. It's going to boil down to your diet, your exercise, your stress reduction. We've reviewed those things in the past for you. And tonight we'll take a little closer look at all of those. Okay, let's get specific about the things that you need to do to get well. Number one, you've got to relax. Remember, adrenal fatigue is a problem with stress in your life. I've told you before, there's people, places, and things in your life that are negative influences. Only you or I know who or what those are. Number one, you've got to remove some of those. You've got to relax. Meditation, quiet time alone, is a great way to do this. Number two, supplements. Now, we've addressed this before. We have a specific article talking about specific supplements. In fact, nine supplements to help you recover from adrenal fatigue. It's going to take nutritional support from those supplements to help you get well. Number three, your diet. We also have spoke with you in the past about that. We've told you about the right foods, the timing of your eating and so forth. It's very important that you provide your body with the nutrition it needs to get well. Otherwise, it cannot recover. One of the important things is that you're eating small amounts of food throughout the day. Preferably a small amount of protein, vegetable, and fruit throughout the day. Grazing, if you can, every couple hours to keep your blood sugar, your insulin, and your energy at a nice level pace. Keep that fuel in your body. That will speed up your recovery. Sleep. We've explained this before. You've got to have rest to recover from any type of illness and adrenal fatigue is an illness. You've got to have a good sleep routine. Here's what I recommend you do, is that you make a schedule, 10.30 every night, 11, whatever it is, you've got to schedule that time that you're gonna be in bed so you can get seven to eight hours of sleep. It's gonna be impossible to get well without sleep. And then one of the other keys that we've talked to you about, exercise. Remember, we told you that depending on where you're at, and we've, just, we've talked about this exercise before, you're not training for the next triathlon. The key is movement is life. Physical and mental movement are life. So depending on where you are, you just need to get that exercise program started. Our motto is some exercise is better than no exercise. For most of us, especially if you're in advanced stages of adrenal fatigue, a nice area to start with 
is yoga, relaxing yoga. That's a good place to start. But remember, again, the keys are movement, physical and mental movement. We appreciate you joining us. Remember now, we have an online article specifically telling you about the four stages of adrenal fatigue with the symptoms. Hopefully you found this information helpful. If you do, give us a like, pass it on to your family, friends and loved ones who can benefit from this information. Follow us on Facebook. Join us on our YouTube channel. All of our contact information is available at the end of this video and on our website. Folks, we appreciate you joining us and we look forward to seeing you next week when we continue the journey in maximizing your health.